it's always in the back of your mind. June 21st, 2019 feels like yesterday for Randolph Fire Chief Dana Horn. That weekend, the Jarheads Motorcycle Club, made up of Marine veterans, just arrived in the mountains of New Hampshire's North Country for its annual outing. A chance for its members from around New England to enjoy a weekend together. On the evening of the 21st, they set out from the Mount Jefferson View Motel in Randolph, en route to the Gorham American Legion. The trip, just 10 miles, but seconds from leaving the motel parking lot, tragedy struck. You know, it's just, it was hot. It was hot. I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all. Horn was having dinner with his family when the call came in. As the tones were going off, I got a phone call saying, you know, this is where it is and this is what you got. According to the New Hampshire Attorney General's office, as the group made its way up Route 2, Vladimir Zukovsky of West Springfield, Massachusetts, approached from the opposite direction. Prosecutors say the pickup truck he was driving crossed the center line and hit several riders before it crashed off the side of the road. The truck bursting into flames as motorcycles laid scattered. A devastating scene, says Chief Horn. It's like, you know, none of us have ever seen before. Horn remembers multiple people calling out for help among a large debris field. Because they just pulled out of the motel, they weren't sure exactly how many motorcycles were with them, so they couldn't give us an accurate account of, so we did a lot of, a lot of searching, you know, thermal imager through the woods and everything else to, to make sure that we were getting, you know, everybody was accounted for. His team needed more help. They asked surrounding towns, including Gorham. Usually when we're on our way to a call, you know, we're trying to get ready and plan for what uh, what we're going to do when we get there. It was the worst call that I've ever been on. Uh, it'll probably be the worst call I'll ever go on. Berlin Fire Chief James Watkins was the chief of Gorham Fire at the time. There was a lot of taking it all in real quick and coming up with a quick plan. It wasn't just first responders who answered the call for help that day. Many civilians also jumped into action, including people who were traveling behind the motorcycle club, as well as nearby business owners. It was horrific. Um, the crackling of the fire, the people screaming. Jerry Hamain co-owns the inn at Bowman. He grabbed a doctor who was staying there. The two ran to the scene. He did administering. Uh, medical advice for people what to do to help out and uh, people just stopped to help out what they could and uh, everyone went into medical mode. Everybody that, that tried to help, everybody did their best. Randolph and Gorham Fire Departments trained for mass casualty events, but they say nothing could prepare them for the emotional effect of a call like this. You know, just the pure emotions of everybody, to include the first responders. It was difficult to deal with. Last summer we had gotten some counseling together, um, but we've also seen, you know, the long-term effects of it. They describe a brotherhood within their departments, a bond that carried them through this difficult time, along with support from their communities. You know, and, and firefighters I hadn't talked to in 10 years contacted me and said, you know, <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's okay. Um, you know, the, the support was incredible. A memorial later formed at the crash site. It has become a place for people to take a moment, reflect, and to honor the seven lives that were lost. People are still coming up on the weekend. There was, you can hear the motorcycles come and stop, and they're all parked there and walking around paying their respects. Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.